What was the name of that one? Bo was it Bo Bobo? Is that the chimpanzee's name? Bobo? Is it Bobo? I don't know. Bogo. Bogo? That's buy one get one. Oh yeah, that's buy one get one. FOMO. Fear of missing out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Rolo. Some of the best candies you've ever ate when you were a kid. <laughs> Welcome back, all you film lovers and movie buffs. It's an, another breadsticks take, and we are doing it again. New stuff coming to Netflix, and I'm gonna tell you the three movies you should watch for the new stuff in September. Got three, and I got a little bit of flavor for everybody. So, first off, in the action category, Collateral, stars Tom Cruise, Jamie Foxx. Tom Cruise is an assassin, comes to LA, Jamie Foxx is a cab driver, he's getting ready to get off, off his shift, and Tom Cruise, it says, hey, I'm gonna drop 600 bucks, five stops, you're with me, cash money. Can't turn it down, right? So he takes it. Turns out the five stops are five hits that this assassin's gotta do in one night, before he flies out in the morning. So Jamie Foxx figures it out and has gotta find a way to stop this assassin, save these people, and not get busted by the FBI, the cops, or killed by Tom Cruise's character in this movie. It's great, it's action packed, it's fast paced, collateral, check it out. It's coming to Netflix on September 1st. Second movie, okay? This is definitely falls into like the fantasy realm. And it's called Snow White and the Huntsman. Star Soda cast, ton of famous people, Charlize Theron, Kristen Stewart, Chris Hemsworth. And it's a fun twist on that old fairy tale, right? That old Snow White and the Seven Dwarves fairy tale. So we got Charlize Theron that needs to basically absorb all the beauty, all these all these young women that absorb their youth so she can stay beautiful, right? Because she's like the wicked witch, you know, the wicked stepmother, whatever. But she can't permanently stay young and beautiful unless she absorbs the, the life force of her stepdaughter, played by Kristen Stewart, Snow White, okay? So she sends the huntsman out to get her and bring her back so she can do the deed. But they fall, they kind of fall for each other. They got a thing going. They end up going back. They kill the evil stepmother and it saved the day. The kingdom's happy. You know how it goes. You know the old story. But this is a fun, action packed twist on a, an old fairy tale. I think you'll love it. It's kind of fun, original. I liked it a lot. I was surprised. I didn't think I would. Check it out. I don't think you'd be disappointed. Now, for the last spot here, I am gonna go with something that's not my usual jam, okay? It's not my flavor, but I felt like I couldn't leave it out of the list because it is a classic. And if you haven't seen it, and you claim to be a film lover or a movie buff, I think you gotta watch it. You gotta at least say that you've seen it, okay? The Bridges of Madison County. You you know Clint Eastwood, that old dog, he's up to it again. He's out, he's taking pictures of Bridges for some sort of historical thing that he's doing. He's a photographer, meets a woman, you know, they kind of feel like they're soulmates, but they met too late in life, and you know, that connection can't happen. She's got a family and stuff, but Bridges of Madison County, it definitely falls into that classic movie realm, and it definitely falls into the romantic drama genre is what I would say. It's not really my thing, not my flavor. I probably wouldn't give it a super high rating, but we're not rating it. We're just telling you good movies that are coming to Netflix September 1st. Make sure you check it out. Bridges of Madison County. I know. I know. That, that one was for you guys. That one's for you guys. That wasn't for me. That was for you guys. So don't forget those three movies coming to Netflix on September 1st. So you've got Collateral, you got Snow White and the Huntsman, and you got the Bridges of Madison County. It'll definitely fill your Saturday afternoon. To check it out. And that has been Breadstick's take on what's coming to Netflix in September of 2022.